Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Barnstormer Baseball Cards. Today we've got more TTM successes of the MLB Persuasion. We're going to have some fun and we're going to look at these. Let's dive into it. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and that you're ready to see some successes. Now there's only four here in front of you. The first one is from Baltimore, Maryland, as you can see right there. And I've already opened these up, of course, and taken a peek in our first one. He signed a bunch of cards. We're going to have to get out a bunch of little easels. But it is going to be Mr. Mike Bilecki. He signed a 92 Donruss. He signed a 1990 Upper Deck. He signed a 1988 Tops. And last but not least, he signed a 1992 Tops as well, representing a bunch of different teams here. And we will talk about that in just a second. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Sunday. We're going to get this knocked out. We're going to get everybody on to their football games, including our Chiefs versus the Carolina Panthers. And we are just going to keep steamrolling through the league. So if you have another team that you are a fan of, I feel bad for you. So, Mr. Mike Bolecki was a right-handed pitcher from 1984 to 1997 it looks like yeah we'll go with that so he had a 70 and 73 record of 418 era and 783 strikeouts and he pitched for the pirates cubs braves indians and angels so a journeyman um now you might ask yourself and i want to talk about this we'll address it really quickly you know i see a lot of videos out there especially ttm stuff things like that and it's easy to dismiss some that might have like, and this is no offense to Mr. Mike Balecki, good for him, awesome career. I'm sure he's proud of it as he should be. And thank you for signing the autographs. But have you ever asked yourself, you know, if we're only chasing Derek Jeter autographs or Hank Aaron, for example, that's great. Do they sign a bunch? Are they there um, answering all these TTNs and sending this stuff back? Probably not. Do they do some? I'm sure they do. And my hat goes off to them as well. But ask yourself, did Derek Jeter get to fifth all time in hits by hitting off of Hall of Famers every single time? Was every matchup that Hank Aaron ever had to hit all those home runs off of some first bout Hall of Fame pitcher? No. There's a lot of players in the league that over time strike them out, walk them, um, give up a hit, give up a double, give up those home runs. They create those stats that we all love so much. So um, I'm not talking down to anybody or anything like that, but I think like a true fan of the game understands the perspective that all these guys are a part of that same tapestry that makes all those records and all those other careers so fantastic that I think it's worth chasing these other guys. I like, I like all of them. Like I've said before in other videos, if you played one day in the majors, I would love to have your autograph. I'd love to have that on a card and it's all one big thing to me. So um, the history and the history of the game and everyone's careers all intertwined. And I think that's a big deal. So I like this in everybody. Um, I'm not apologizing for it. I hope that doesn't come across that way. I'm just letting people know that I think everyone that that's made it to these leagues is special. They're in that top uh, special percentage. They're better than most of the guys out there in the world that think they can play. These guys can really play. So I'm very happy to get everyone's autograph and I truly appreciate it. So let's move on to number two. This one is actually going to be an AL Empire. He has quite a story as well. And we'll throw him in here. He signed three for us. And this next one is Sharpie. Got a little bit away from him, I would say. Kind of a big blue mass right there. And he did much better on this. But as you know, as we all get older, it gets a little shaky. A little hard to uh, control some stuff. And not that big of a deal. Happy to have him. Happy to have him in the collection. And have him here with us today. So, this is Mr. Terry Cooney. He's an AL umpire from 1974 to 1992. He was the umpire of the 1981 World Series. Three times in the ALCS. And the All-Star Game. One of the All-Star Game umpires. In 1979 and 1989. Um, his claim to fame in all of that. If that wasn't enough. Is... In Game 4 of the 1990 ALCS, in the second inning, he ejected Roger Clemens for using profanity. Clemens' Red Sox were already down three games to none going into that game. They really needed him to have a strong showing. But 
His mouth got in his way. He got tossed in the second inning, and the Athletics went on to sweep the Red Sox, winning that game that night 3-1. to one. So Mr. Cooney took care of business, tossed old Clemens out of there, and uh, the rest, of they say, is history. Now, moving on, we have another return from a guy I was excited about. I uh, always liked his cards growing up, and I want to show you guys here. Mr. Dan Pasqua. Now, I'd seen online where Dan will sign multiple cards. I'll go through it real quickly. 88 tops, no. 89 upper deck, no. 92 tops, no. 88, no. 91 upper deck, no. But he did sign one for us. 1992 Donruss. And that is absolutely fine with me. I love that. I, in fact, I really like the 92 Donruss, especially for uh, for ink. I've probably got a couple hundred of these signed. If I was ever going to try to complete a year, it might be that or be the 92 upper deck. Um, so that's where that stands right now. But you know what? If these guys take their time and they sign even one for you, you got to love it. You got to appreciate it. And I certainly do. So, Mr. Pasqua, thank you for signing. Um, you can sign as many, you send as many cards as you want to these guys. You're not guaranteed anything. The fact they take their time and do any of it still amazes me after 30 years. So we are happy to get what we get. Mr. Pasqua played from 85 to 94. He was an All-American outfielder in 1981 and 82 at William Patterson. He was the New Jersey Athletic Conference Player of the Year in 1982. And he was drafted by his hometown Yankees in the third round of 1982. And he went on to actually play for the uh, Yankees and White Sox. So there is your bio on Mr. Dan Pasqua. Thank you again, Dan, for sending us back a return. Now, fourth, last but not least, we have some returns and another one that did not get signed. But Mr. Odeby McDowell did not sign the 89 upper deck, but he did sign the 1987 tops. And the one I really, really wanted, the 1985 tops, because as you know, we're working on a couple USA team sets from 84, from the 84 team and the uh, 88 team, and he signed one for us. So we will gladly add that to our collection. We'll stick this one off over here. We'll do some sliding around so everyone can see what they can see, and... Boom. All right. Mr. McDowell was a left-handed center fielder born in Hollywood, California in 1962. 1984, he won the Golden Spikes Award. He also won a silver medal in the Olympics that year as a teammate of Mark McGuire on the team that you see that I'm chasing and trying to get so many autographs of. And he ended up playing 1985-1994 in the MLB for the Rangers, Indians, and Braves. So thank you again, Mr. McDowell. And I'll have to do a video sometime just on the USA team returns that we've gotten because it's a bunch and it's really starting to stack up. And um, I'll probably try to go for the whole run. I have all the 85 tops Royals. Um, so I'll probably dive into some of this and try to uh, complete some other team sets as well. I think that's really, really cool. Well, thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be safe, be kind to each other. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.